So let's jump right in and get started. Okay, so the green wire you see here is taking power from the solar power on the roof and taking it into the electrical branch power in. Then the pink wire you see here is branching off to power to the blocker input on the blocker. And the red wire is taking all the leftover power and feeding it into the battery. The yellow wire is then taking power out and feeding it through the power in on the blocker and the power out on the blocker into the blue wire, which then sends power to the two lights. So basically all the time it's daytime and the solar panel receives power, it sends two power over to the blocker and this stops power going through into the lights. Now I'm going to show you how you could add this into a circuit that is already running in your base from a wind turbine, maybe a wind turbine powering your turrets or your heaters and we're going to incorporate this into it. As you can see here, I have a wind turbine sending power into this electrical branch. This then branches off four power into the blocker and passes the four power through the blocker into two lights. But there's also a green wire coming from the solar panel, which is sending power into the blocker input on the blocker. This is stopping all power reaching the lights during the daytime. Then what we have is a red wire sending the leftover power into the input on the battery. Unfortunately, we're wasting power through the solar panel and that is not taken to the battery. Now we have a bright blue wire taking power into this electrical branch, which branches off 10 into the auto turret. Then the pink wire sends the leftover power into this electrical branch, which also branches off 10 to the auto turret. We're then left with a power out which we can connect to any other things in our base and they will work at all times. Only the lights will come on at night and turn off at day. If this content helped you, please consider leaving a comment, a like and maybe even subscribing. Also, check out the playlist at the end here where I'll go over many electrical tutorials in Rust. Until the next one, peace.